Boom. You guys know what time it is. It's the People's Channel time. My name is Ribby Boy, and this is Green Magic Gardener. So you guys are getting one more look at the 3x3 three three before I take these beautiful, beautiful plants down, guys. Yes, that's right. We'll get right into the video. This video is brought to you by Spider Farmer. Here I am pointing at an AC Infinity logo. <laughs> like, what the hell, Ribby? What are you... No, actually, um, to be fair, there's my 3x3 three three right there. I'm just waiting until uh, this is all done. This tent's old now, guys. It's a couple years old. It's got all kinds of holes in it. The zipper uh, has major, major light leaks. Uh, their new model I hear is a lot better, but, you know. I'm a spider farmer, so, yeah, it is what it is. But they're both good companies, guys. I'm not going to badmouth any company. I can't badmouth any companies. And AC Infinity is an awesome company, along with Spider Farmer. So, look at that, guys. I'm going to give you guys some shots here. Try to keep it as short as I can. I'm filming in 4K, I believe. This should be in 4K. I might end up changing it, depending on how long it is, guys. Oh, my God, it stinks in here. And they are most definitely done. Beautiful plants. Like, there's so many branches, guys, and look at it all. And it's dense all of the way down. I'm going to get some light shots here before we chop them, because we are going to be chopping them here in a minute. Look at that. Yes, code green magic if you guys are buying anything, uh, Spider Farmer. But yes, we got the 3x3 three three tent. This is the four photo periods. If you guys remember, this girl right here is a Puff Puff Gas. The one next to it is um, Michigan's Breath. Has a more fruity kind of smell. This one has a more earthy, cushy smell. And Puff Puff Gas right here in the back left super super dense the most dense plant i swear i've ever grown she's beautiful and then same thing michigan breath back here in the far right corner she's nice it's all grown under the se 5000 guys that light right there she is a beauty and running this light for quite some time now and she has not to let me down they're all grown in Pro Mix, HP Pro Mix for the medium, and Green Rush Nutrients, guys. Oh, yes. Got to mention the Green Rush Nutrients. And we kept the bugs off with Bug Zuka. 100% all natural bug um, repellent, guys. Well, we'll get on some more of that in a bit here. But uh, let's just chop these girls down. What am I waiting for? Let's chop them down. So I got two out. I just got them out there to make make some room. Holy, they really, really start to smell when you when you uh when you start pulling them out. So it's just a pain doing it here with the net. But I'll just I'll pause it when I see. Obviously, not not much to see. I just gotta pull the net over and pull them out and bring it out. And they're actually standing up. Look at they're actually standing up out there. I'm surprised. So, uh, I'll pause it and I'll, I'll come right back. Oh my God, it's got a pungent, pungent, like, I mean, it is so strong smelling when you, uh, when you start taking them down. Look at that. Some wicked, wicked plants, guys. These freaking strings. I'm glad I got a five pack still for myself of, um, Puff Puff. I think three packs of the other one. Look at this. This is my favorite one right here. This pheno. Oh my god. It's so dense. Man. I'm really loving that one, guys. Holy it's crazy. There's gotta be quite a bit here for a three by three. So all I'm gonna do is chop them. And as you see, it's warm, pretty damn warm in there right now, 84. Um that's the lights on. I'm going to turn the light off. 
hang them all on the net, chop them down whole, because like, look at, there's not a lot of foliage on these at all. They can hang and hold easily. And then I'm gonna turn the air conditioner on full for the next week, because I'm gonna have to get it down to like 65 in here. And freeze my butt off over the whole next week in order to get me a good, good, should be like, uh, Man, I don't even know, but I also know I'm growing this one over again. Holy man, let me show you these other two. Now this one smells like candy. Now this one is, this is um Michigan breath and Michigan breath. Smaller, more dense candy smelling buds. And then look at this one, bigger, more earthy. You know, I wish they faded a little more, guys. They had a little bit too much newts, but, like, I gave them extra time even, and they are overdone, so I had to take them down. All right, I'm going to chop them down and get them hung up, and I'll uh, show you guys, and then I will come back when we have the final product. But one uh, quick thing. Yes, I almost forgot. These were grown with this stuff right here, guys. This one and the flowering one. You know what's cool? This stuff actually has the cane sugar and everything for the microbes. Absolutely love this stuff. 100% um, instant organic nutrients, guys. And then you must do IPM, guys. I'm telling you because don't wait until you got bugs for the cheap price that this costs. It's 100% organic. I've been using it on everything. I use it the whole way through this grow always end up getting thrips or something and it went better than it could have ever gone and i contribute some of that to bug zooka guys you can find them both in the first pin comment or description these guys are well i only make money off of the codes so yeah i just I'm, i don't know i find some good products i really like them so yeah code green magic guys will save you 10 percent off on that and 15% off on Bugzooka. I'll see you guys in a minute. Wow, so that was the biggest, or the most painful to chop out of a two gallon that I've ever had to chop. My God, what a thick freaking branch, guys. There it is. I'm gonna hang them in whole, just like that. Puff Puff will go at the back. And so on. Oh, oh, oh damn, they just made it. <laughs> Look at that. No buds have touched. Oh, that one's just touching that lid. <laughs> That's okay, I'll move the lid. It should be fine. And it'll only need a few hours. They'll start dropping weight and it'll be fine. But, uh, yeah, I don't suggest doing it quite like this, guys. Um, maybe use hell tangers if you know, you know, be a little easier. You know, just saying. So I'll be back in seven to ten. Now, what you're gonna do is you're gonna close this up, and you're not gonna leave. You don't need fans blowing. Um, you can have one. I wouldn't have a fan blowing in here at all. It's fine, just like this. If so, maybe turn this one on like that, on lowest. And then it'll just, you don't want them blowing on it at all. And you want it to be as close to 65 and 65, guys, as you can. It's tough, but you'll see. I'm pretty damn good at uh, drying these bad boys. So we'll see you when we got some numbers and some beautiful budskies. Woo, it's Friday, guys. I hope you have a good, safe weekend. When you're about to go do something stupid out there, think, what would Ribby say? What would Ribby do? He'd tell you to smarten a goddamn up, okay? Make it back here Monday. All right, we only got one life, guys. You gotta take care of yourself. Don't take any unnecessary, crazy risks. Wait, what am I talking about? I'm the first person to take unnecessary risks. It's like, oh man. Anyways, guys, I'm in a good mood today. I'm G'd up from the feet up. Hell freaking yeah. I'm off to the gym. Life is great. Guys, all you gotta do is stay positive. 
You want to know the one thing I've changed in my life, guys? I was a very, very negative person. It still comes out time to time. I still have to work on it daily, but I was a very negative person. I was always pointing out the bad. I'd always look at the bad in things instead of the good. Guys, the second you change your positivity, you change your thoughts to positive, nothing negative, just, you know, even if someone pisses you off, try to uplift people. And I'm telling you, that good energy you will put out into the world, and it will come back at you guys. I'm telling you. Negative people, we don't got time for them here. That's why. You, you comment something stupid, you go right to my block list. I'm not going to argue with somebody, you know what I mean? I'm not, I would argue for hours with people on Facebook, back and forth. I'm not kidding you guys. I'm not kidding you. And the second I stop doing that and replying to stupid people and, and taking care of myself, raising my vibrational frequencies, and I'm telling you, look what it's, look what it's come to. You guys are like, why is there so many bags out here? I wanted to show you guys my whole collection while I'm here. Um, I want to give you guys another look at the Nanus now that it's been sitting here curing for a while. Let's, uh, let's take a look. Coming for the number one spot. And then stopping until I get it. That's all I got left of Nanus, guys. And... Um, and that's all that's left of, I believe, that is lights out. So you guys seen, I had two pounds. Like, my people, my friends really, really, really enjoy this stuff. Oh, wow. Yes, I wanted to get a good look at this with the 4K. Damn. God damn. Nothing touches Ribby's Nana's baby. And these are, this is uh, some of the Nana's and um, the weird plants. Remember, guys, the ones I didn't think turn out too well? And look at that. Damn, I'm stocked up. Well, I'm not really stocked up. It doesn't last that long. And, and I only smoke about a gram, guys, two grams a day. That's it. I have been smoking a lot more now lately. Usually, I would just smoke, like, the bottom of the bag, shake and leaves with, like... I'm more addicted to the tobacco, I'm not going to lie. Can't lie to you guys. But, uh, yeah, so let me get this out of the way now and show you what we're dealing with, guys. So, um, I wanted to keep them separate, but they ended up actually, once they dried, they were actually quite similar to one another. So, like the two different phenotypes of Puff Puff and the two different phenotypes of Michigan's breath. They, so, I was like, you know what, I'm just going to house them together. There was about 20 grams of, like, see that leafier, crappier little buds that I just tossed in there. I was like, I'm not going to keep it separate even. But, uh, guys, the puff puff. Mm -hmm. Well, let me get, let's, let's do the weigh-in first, okay? Uh, there's a quarter out of each, and then I've been smoking nothing but puff puff. I maybe smoked a gram of that. We won't even count it. About four, four or five grams I've smoked, guys, and, um, there's a quarter missing. So, and then there's a quarter out of that, which is always going to be a little missing. As soon as it gets done, um, people, my friends are like, dude, help me, let me try. So, of course, I'm going to. So, minus 20 grams off of that, guys. Minus 20 grams for the bag, and then add 11. So, let's just say 10. So, take off 10 grams. We came up with 166 total grams of puff puff gas. And then this one is missing, we're just gonna say seven. So, yes, minus, um, we'll just say minus the eight, 120 grams. You know, let me be, give or take a gram or two guys. So, more or less, we got close to 11 ounces, I believe it was, when I weighed it the first time. Less than I thought, but I am super happy with this, guys. Or you can go follow, or you can go follow Base Drop Keys, and he'll show you how to get 4 ounces out of a 3x3 three three that look like crap. Shots fired. Straight up. And I know after just preaching the positive, sometimes... Guys, I joke around. I'm a joker. So, I love everybody. I do. I even like bass drop keys videos. I go, even the people that 
that we all have people we can't stand. I'll even go and drop likes on people that I don't like this video. Just because why would I want to send out negativity when me sending out positive vibes even towards people I don't like is going to help uplift me later on. That's the way I look at life, guys. Not always did I, but God damn, look at this. Whoa, you guys want to hear how solid this is? So the other phenotype was a little leafier like that, right? Guys, you want to know what it smells like? You know what KFC smells like from a distance? It, I don't know why, but it smells like KFC from a distance. I'm not even kidding you. Like, And then when you get up close and you smell it, you're like, oh my God. This stuff almost matches Nana's, guys. I almost like it as much as Nana's. Um, if it had a little bit more taste, which it does have some really good taste, but the Nana's, nothing touches Nana's, I'm telling you. I have been smoking weed since I was uh, 11 years old. My 11th birthday, guys. Okay, I'm 39. I have smoked every kind of weed you can imagine. And nothing touches Nana's. Now listen to this. You hear that? Listen to that one. Oh my god. So yeah, you guys see. This is getting too long now. Oh my gosh, I opened this bag up. It didn't have as, as much a smell as that. And as it's been curing, holy guys, it has like an earthy kush mixed with a very sweet, sugary smell. Like, I can't even explain it, man. That is beautiful. That's Michigan breath. Wow, guys. I hit this out of the park, man. I am super, super happy with this, guys. 11 ounces of dynamite stuff. Now, I know I don't show a lot of the trimming because who wants to watch trimming? Let's be real here. So what I do is I, I get a tray. Oh, and that's what's left, too. Oh, no, no. Um, yes, that's from one strain. One's puff puff, so I'll take two trays, right? I'll, I'll do a tray for each strain. So that's what's left of puff puff. And look at guys, not much goes to waste this time. It's all crap. And that's what's left of Michigan breath. Like, oh, look at that. And this is why you need uh, trays. I got people that take the ounces of crystals. It's crazy. So I'll, t I'll take two trays, right? And I'll bring, I'll bring the plant out in whole and I'll lay it down across my table. I'll uh, put, so then half of the plant, the ends are in the tray and I'll snip all the, the ends off, all the big buds, trim all those up and then I go on from there. And then I trim up as much as I can and move on to the next one, guys. Right directly into the bags and I'll open them just time to time and they cure itself. You don't even have to open them. That's the beauty. Grove bags. www.grovebags.com. Not sponsored. But like I say, guys, I share every good product that I find with you guys. So that's going to be it. Love you guys. This was an amazing grow. We're going to be doing the ultimate organic auto flower grow guide next, guys. Purple tie from Ethos, baby. See you then.